What's up everyone, welcome back to the Tottenham Hotspur Realistic Career Mode, episode number 2. If you guys did enjoy the last episode, hit that like button and subscribe with the bell. I really appreciate every single one of you who do that. Uh, we are up to 5, five subscribers, so uh, thank you guys so much for the support. Um, yeah, if you guys haven't seen the last episode... Go ahead and check the first episode of the series. It was an absolute blinder. And today will, won't will be much better. Because today is just a jam-packed video. 15 minutes and 31 seconds long. Um, yeah, this is going to be a great episode. And if you guys are excited too, make sure you hit that like button as well. Um, yeah. Let me know down below in the comments section. Um, yeah, do you think I should let go of Harry Kane or not? But, um, you know, who should I replace him with if we do? Um, we do sign Mickey van der Ven, the man, the youngster, the six foot four Dutch centre back from Wolfsburg. Um, he's only 21 years of age, left footed as well, so we sign him because we need some versatility um, on that left hand side of the centre back position. Um, yeah, so we do sign him for about 27 and a half million with, you know, contract and stuff. Um, obviously he's done great things at, um, Wolfsburg and has attracted the likes of Ange Postacoglu in real life as well, um, and in this career mode. So, yeah, very excited to see that happen. Um, yeah, so we do get this deal over the line. Very exciting youngster. Um, you know, we've still got millions of pounds in the bank. Um, if you guys have any transfer suggestions for Tottenham Hotspur, leave them down in the comment section below. It will help me out so much. Um, so, yeah, this transfer, absolutely amazing and great to see it's done. But, yes, um, the uh, transfer deadline day is gone. And we did accept that uh, transfer that we did get for Hugo Lloris. And he is now going to see his way out into Italy and go play for Fiorentina. We do have Vicario, uh, the Italian goalkeeper, uh, who did come from the Syria um, on our side. So, yeah, this is the big decision. As you guys know, Harry Kane did leave Spurs on a massive 100 million fee to Bayern Munich. But in this career mode, we're going to try and see uh, if we can let him go at 115 million over at Inter Milan who have the funds for him um, I think he'll do wonders at Italy um, yeah so unfortunately for us um, when he's not going to go anywhere just yet just because the transfer window hasn't uh, has just closed and this deal has been a little bit later than the transfer window unfortunately but he will be gone in January so we will need some transfer suggestions in the comments down below um, sorry I said 15 minutes for some reason 15 minute video it's actually only 13 minutes I don't know where I got 15 from but um, yeah we do we are in the Champions League, as you guys do remember. We did get a nil-nil draw with Nottingham Forest, um, but um, in the Champions League, we get our game on with Eintracht well, Frankfurt. Um, Frankfurt, German Bundesliga side, who are quite exciting right now. Um, yeah, they are in the Champions League as well. So we're going to Champions League, not expecting to win it, but um, if we can just push for some prize money, uh, that would be good for this season. Maybe make top four if we can. This Spurs side is quite good. But, um, yeah. Forgot to mention, La Salso is also in the team. But I haven't really used him. He's always been on the reserve. So, I haven't really used him too much. Um, but, yeah. Frankfurt was just... We have been playing highlights. Um, sorry for my voice. A bit uh, ill at the moment. But, um, yeah. It has taken us a long, long time. Uh, we did try and break this Eintracht Frankfurt team down, but it just wasn't happening at all. Um, yeah, uh, we just 
No, no team could really do anything. Uh, it was just the defense were on top most of the time in this match. Um, they did have a few chances, but um, you know Mario goes on the corner. Um, we did play a slightly rotated team as well, so it wasn't our best team, if you will, um, competing in this match. But um, yeah, it was a strong team. Let's just say that. But um, yeah. It wasn't our number one team, but um, yeah, we still expected a few points, but um, we did go away in Germany uh, looking for three points, but we only managed to get one. So yes, this next match is going to be up against Southampton, who we haven't had the best start this season, four matches, we sit in that, what, 12th, 11th position, um, but... Southampton are just one point behind us. Um, we, we are going to simulate this match. Um, realistically, this should be a victory for uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Um, but we do get that 3-1 victory with Kulisevsky and Udoji. And Madison are the three goal scorers to take us to a 3-1 victory against Southampton. But um, next up is Watford in the Carabao Cup. Quite a rotated team to get the fresh legs up, get the um, playtime going for everybody so everybody's happy, um, and get some rest as well. Um, Dwine, the youngster, obviously getting himself a goal, and Kulisevsky gets himself a brace as well. Um, against Aston Villa, a very, very tough side um, who have br bring in the new signings, the likes of Voland in his career mode, but um, we're going away. At um at the Hello Villa Park uh, against a very very tough Villa the side, the um, it's going to be very hard it's to break them down. But let's see what what damage we can do um, against this Villa team. Um, but uh, yeah, it didn't take much long for Villa to get their first few good chances. But um, both teams it didn't really pan out. Really a very good chance to anybody. Um, this was probably one of the best chances of half. Great finish from Rodrigo Bentancourt, but straight to the keeper in Emi Martinez's hands. Um, but yeah, the first half ended just like that, as a nil-nil uh, a piece. But um, straight into the second half, Aston Villa made their mark, and you know, Unai Emery the. Manager, great manager, you know, managed Villarreal into uh, Champions League semi finals. Great manager he is. Um, he just tweaked some ta tactics or something because they scored two goals very quickly in the second half. Um, but we did need to make some substitutions, uh, you know, the likes of Benna, uh, not Benna, I say, um, Hoiberg and Bissouma, you know, the getting their oh, chances, but Rodrigo Bentenko makes a very and silly and clumsy challenge, which resolves him in a red card, which is not great to see. Um, but Aston Villa nearly made it their uh, third, just to make our goal difference worse, but they did. Luckily, they didn't. Um, we do suffer a heavy 2-0 defeat at Aston Villa. Um, at at Villa Park, again, a uh, very tough place to go, but a 2 0 defeat with a red card is not such a great sort of result. But um, we do manage to bounce back with a great, great victory there 4 1 against Sporting Lis Lisbon. Um, but, you know, six matches into the Premier League season, we are looking, we need to bounce back a bit more, you know play a few more matches, and uh, try and get a few more points on the board. We like to climb up the ladder a bit more. Disappointing result against Leicester City. Get a 1-1 draw, unfortunately. But, um, yeah. We are still sitting in that, you know, mid-table position. Leeds also looking quite good with 11 points so far this season. Um, this is going to be a tough match. Both teams, um, you know sort of in that 
similar type position, um, you know, so it's not going to be the easiest, easiest of matches, so let's see how we go, um, leads are also quite overperforming, if you will, um, but we're going to have to take our chances in this match, but um, we did start counter-pressing, a lot of pressure, um, trying to get on the front foot, uh, Kulosevsky getting a lot of uh, share of the ball, and it just does show how great of a player he is finishing that um, as his dinner, finishing in the top left hand corner. Meslier could not do anything, he did get a chance before to header, but um, he was offside, I believe. But, um, you know, Leeds United try to get the bounce back goal to get them back into the game, well and truly, it does show why they are in that position where they are. Uh, because they are oh, nice keeping up pass. with us, but Harry Kane had a chance. Um, oh, he is playing his last few games for the club, maybe the last 15 or so for up. the club, but he had a chance to take make it 2-0 before half-time, but just does not happen for him. Uh, Mickey van der Ven, the new signing, makes a so fabulous tackle in that uh, box, which is very lovely to see. The youngster performing very greatly, and again, a great slide tackle from Romero, the main centre-back there. Um, we did go ahead and score another goal here for Tottenham Hotspur. Harry Kane uh, missing the opportunity last time, but he's not going to miss two in one match. There is no way that is going to happen for Harry Kane. Um, but, yeah. Um, second half, we just started putting up the pressure, we wanted to get this massive win, we could not bottle this one, um, there's no way we could bottle this one, because we need to get a few points and get away from Leeds United, uh, great finish from Madison, an assist from Harry Kane, with his left foot, Mad James Madison, the signing, star signing for Tottenham Hotspur so far this season, he's been playing very well recently um very good to see the team performing very well but in the last few minutes or so um human son he's going to be the next captain um just dribbles it outpaces everybody of the leeds team and smacks it straight past meslier and scores a goal to make it 4-1. Uh, he's he scored a goal just like that in the first episode, so you know how special of a player he will be for us in this episode and in this whole career mode. Um, but yeah, the game ends 4-0. It just shows how strong you can be if you do play very well as a team. But, um, you know, uh, we do manage to get that 4-0 victory. But we are going to simulate this one once more. And we do get three points with the Celso and Harry Kane with those two goals. Um, yeah, very, very, very good performance at the end of the episode. Um, very good episode. Uh, we so far finish in sixth at this episode. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button. Subscribe with the bell. Um, great progress this episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care and peace out.